everyone, Stacy Sinclair here, and today I'm talking about reasons why renting your instrument might make the most sense. I also have a couple of reasons why buying an instrument might be the best decision for some people. We're weighing our options. Let's get started. First of all, for my beginners out there, renting an instrument is the way to go because you might be trying a brand new thing and you're not sure if you are going to enjoy playing your instrument or if you might want to switch after a school year to try something different. I always recommend giving it about one school year, but you wanna be able to change your mind if you need to and not be stuck with something that you spent a lot of money for and it turns out you don't even enjoy it. There's a good instrument out there for everyone and I hope that everyone has the chance to find the one that's right for them. Again, if you're a beginner, renting makes a lot of sense because of the support that you'll get for your instrument from the music store or rental company where you got it. For example, if you're unfamiliar with how to tune your instrument, usually you can return to the place where you've rented it from and they'll tune it up for you free of charge. A lot of times you'll receive a little bit of instruction on how to take good care of your instrument from the place where you're renting it. Another good piece of support if you're renting your instrument is in the form of insurance. Now, if you're traveling to take your instrument to school on the school bus or for an in-person lesson, it's really nice to know that you have some insurance against theft of your instrument, loss of the instrument, or if some kind of accident happens. Parents of young children, we all know they can be clumsy and drop things, and it's really nice to know that there's some insurance there protecting your investment. Another reason to consider renting is for younger students. Instruments come in sizes. Anything in the strings family, violin, viola, cello, bass, even flutes and guitars come in different sizes for young students. You always want to learn on the instrument that is the correct size for your body. If an instrument is too big or too heavy for a student, they can develop bad habits with posture, from trying to hold up an instrument that's too heavy. They can develop trouble with intonation or technique because of accommodating for something that's too large. Similarly, if you're playing on an instrument that is too small, you might develop some bad habits just to accommodate that smaller instrument. By renting, you can trade the instrument for the next one of the correct size and the rental place or music store will help you find the instrument that is the right size for you. Another reason to consider renting is because of equity. Most good rental places or music stores will allow you to use the money that you're putting toward your instrument for equity. So when you grow into the size, the full size of the instrument, you've basically already paid for it and you will have learned on the correct size instrument in the meantime. For advancing students or older students who already fit the full size instrument, it still makes a lot of sense to rent. A lot of music stores have high quality instruments that you can rent and use with the same insurance, warranty, and support, and usually for a price that's a lot lower than purchasing an advanced instrument right out of the gate. Plus, if your payments are going toward finally owning the instrument of your dreams anyway, there's really no downside. Now, some people might be looking online, maybe it's Amazon, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, and you're seeing instruments there where the price of the whole instrument is maybe what you'd pay for one or two months of renting. Buyer beware. In most cases, you get what you pay for, and music teachers everywhere talk about things like VSOs, or violin-shaped objects, that are very low cost, but come with a few difficulties. Sometimes they're not set up correctly for playing and they need adjustments to be made before they're ready to play. And that can be sort of costly or lead to poor habits if you play on a poorly set up instrument. Often there are challenges with keeping these types of instruments in tune because they aren't put together individually or with the greatest of care. 
you also don't receive the support if you are trying to learn on that kind of instrument for getting it in top playing condition. It might sound more shrieky or make it, you know, difficult for somebody to really fall in love with the instrument and want to play if it doesn't sound as beautiful as it can. Now, for some people, purchasing an instrument is the only way to go. So if your finances are saying that, hey, purchasing online for an instrument that only is the price of one or two months of rental is the right thing, by all means, still do it. I would never want finance to be something that holds somebody back from a lifelong pursuit of learning music. Another reason that you might want to purchase an instrument outright is if you are an advancing player and you know that you're going to stick with it. Now, most places that sell instruments that are high quality will have some kind of a return policy. Whether it's the kind of store where you can make an appointment, go in person, and play a variety of instruments until you find the one that really speaks to you. Or if we need to do this through physical distancing and they send you an instrument to try out for a couple weeks or 30 days, and you can send it back if you're not satisfied, those kind of reputable exchanges are also okay. So if it makes sense to you because you're familiar with the instrument and you know what you're looking for, you've done your research or you've coordinated with your teacher, then sometimes buying an instrument is the way to go. I do remember when I grew into my full-size violin, how exciting it was to finally get that one that was mine, all mine. And if that's correct for you, then go for it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, I'll have more tips on learning an instrument for you soon. See you next time.